Why did I do this? All right, watch me uh, pick the, the A name again. Oh my god, why did I decide to do this? I'm crazy. I am absolutely crazy. About to beat the hype train record. What does that even mean? Uh... Whatever. Lab ruler's strat. Basically, um... If you had cards that go through Labyrinth, it's good. That first run we had was great, honestly. That was going so smoothly. And then we got Sound Glitch, like, on Richard out of all people. I really don't understand why. I really don't. Yeah, the Sound Glitch literally killed a run where... We first try reincarnated. Oh, I almost did the thing again. We first try reincarnated a Roaring Ocean Snake, which is fine. That's it. That's it. That's all we need is just that one card. But we also got a Mungaree Ram, which is very good for Pegasus. So we smashed Pegasus. We also got a Shadow Ghoul against Lab Ruler. We beat him first try, first try and we got a Shadow Ghoul. And that's great. Like, that's actually usable on duels, you know? Oh, the hype train ended. Alright, success! We got a level 1 hype train emote. We got the... We got the hype cool. We got the whale. Look at that. Thanks, guys, for the hype train. I got an emote. Did you guys get anything out of it? I hope you did. Six subs and a hundred bits. That is nice. Emotes are being delivered to supporters. There you guys go. Maybe one of you guys also got a... um, What's it called? Uh, a badge? A hype train badge? I need pie. I did actually buy a pie before. My plan for a snack was actually to do uh, some sliced cacciatore salami quickly in the microwave and then just serve that with just bread and cheese and just eat it. I call it the lazy man's pizza. It's very tasty though. Plus, the other day, that didn't even work well, because then I continued runs and I didn't even get anywhere anyway. It was a nice, nice morale boost, I will say. It put me in a good mood, but I'm already in a good mood. You're actually having a pie right now. Nice, what pie? I almost feel like a cold drink, honestly. I am a little bit thirsty. I only got, uh, like, roof temperature water here. I don't know what, um, what drink I would have. I don't know, like a Coke with some ice. Maybe. Yeah, lazy pizza. It's actually a very good snack. Maybe I should just do that anyway. I don't know. I actually forget. What car did I even reincarnate? To get the Roaring Ocean Snake. Because you need something that's like around 50 deck cost to get it, honestly. You need... It had to have been some high deck cost monster. Apple pie, yum. Do you have it with ice cream? Because that's usually the wombo combo. Apple pie and ice cream, or like apple crumble and vanilla ice cream. We're getting trolled hard. Just cream? I don't really like cream with desserts, I'm not gonna lie. I really like, I do enjoy vanilla ice cream with desserts, but I don't like cream. With, like, anything, honestly. Yeah, it was Gorgon's Eye, that's right. Yeah, we got a three in a row Gorgon's Eye and we reincarnated that. So it's very... It's actually not impossible to get 50 deck cost spell and trap cards. You can get 50 deck cost cards from this guy. 
You can get his uh, Wasteland monster removal cards. The Breath of Light, Eternal Rest, and Stainstorm. Any one of those I would reincarnate. Clotted. Oh, just something about the phrase clotted cream just... Oh, that makes me cringe, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. You can tell the look at my face is really not keen. Jesus. I don't want to eat that. Please don't make me eat that. I don't want to eat it. Um... My taste? What do you mean? My taste is good, I hope that's what you mean. It's so special. Why? Why is my taste so special? I think my taste is pretty normal. Yeah, you're allowed to like cream, it's fine, I just don't. Yo, Robert, thank you for the happy birthday wishes, man. Hello to you as well, I hope you're doing well today. You guys are allowed to like cream, I just don't like cream. Just being honest about that. Air Eater sucks on this duel because, like... It's wind, so all of his stuff just gets spellbound. It's actually really bad. Like, I can't actually advance with this card. Jesus Christ, man. Melted ice cream is basically cream? No, like... Whipped cream? It's very airy. I don't like the taste of it. It's basically like ice cream, but not good, is how I would put it. I assume I'm going to be able to win next turn. Which is what we want. <laughs> An acceptable duel. He should attack one of these cards. Or, I guess, defend. And then we can play a card over this and kill him, right? We could brick entirely, but... I'm kind of hoping that we don't. Okay, cool. Whoa, we actually beat this guy. What a surprise. That's cool. That's cool. That first run we got, we actually got very lucky, because we also got an equip from Yami, uh, Darkness Ruler, which we're just not going to see. That's, like, really unlikely. We're just, like, rarely ever going to see that. Damn it, we missed by one. What a shame. Really want three in a rows. Just for like high deck cost stuff to either use or just to reincarnate, honestly. Like a Skull Diet, maybe I would keep it, maybe I would reincarnate it. It's actually a good card to reincarnate because you could get like copies of Roy Ocean Six. Fiends need more fusions. Yeah, we are doing re- I never said this was no resets. 
I... Dude, the last run was so bad, I just had to restart it. I just had to. It was insulting. I literally spent over five minutes trying to reincarnate for one good card. It took me like six minutes to get a single Roaring Ocean Snake. And then we lost to Lab Ruler twice. Hmm. I can't really afford to dump this, because I might open with like a four star. Yo, Zena Knight, thank you very much for the happy birthday. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, man. Dragon Zombie. What makes him attack this and what makes him doesn't? Does it have to be like over 2k attack? Because sometimes he just moves it to the left. I don't know. Wow. Haven't looked into it. It has to be an attack threshold thing, because I've defended with monsters so many times in this duel. And it just seems like it's up to him rather than up to what I do. So, I don't know what else it would be. Yeah, it has to be, like, above 2k attack or something. I don't know what else would determine it. When he equips, he, we really want a Dark Energy, because we just have, like, no damage on this guy. God damn it, man. I guess we just hit him with this in the off chance that we actually get to follow up attack with lethal next turn. We just need damage here, I guess. JP, what's up? Thank you very much for the good birthday wishes. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, man. Oh, it's a dark hole, I think. 2850 Clown Zombie, okay, buddy. Yep, it's a dark hole. Alright, well, unless he OTKs me here somehow with 3050 attack, uh, we win. Oh, on the next turn, obviously, not this one. Pumpkin, the king of ghosts. Do, 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 do. I don't actually have lyrics for that. We even finally drew something we could fuse our machine with, and it didn't even work. Do you the attacks there with Pumpkin? Yeah, his calls for Pumpkin are very interesting. I don't even know what determines if he plays Pumpkin and face-up defense or not. I really don't know. Stop giving me Enchanted Javelin! It's literally like the one card that I don't want. Oh my god. 
Oh my fucking god. Any card but this one. I would literally take a Sword of Dragon Soul over that. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I can use it against Darkness Ruler with the Fairy that I don't have in my deck. Jesus Christ. I didn't believe in the Heart of the Slots. I did, and it failed me! Oh, hello. Yo, Dino, what's up? Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. It's not a good card for reincarnation. I want a 50 that cost card. I really do. Highest level monster that comes with this deck, six stars. You have Ushi Oni and you have two Air Eaters. They're your three six star monsters, and Ushi Oni has 2150 attack, and Air Eater has 2100. Glash chip, chip, Glime. I love when he does that. Aggressive play. Absolutely aggressive. Okay. Let's kill whatever this face down card is. Hopefully it's like a shadow spell. Ah, uh, Mesmer Control, that's good actually, I'm happy with that. See ya! Mmm, well we've got reincarnation available and we don't even have a good card to reincarnate, so that sucks. Shit, we missed by one. God damn it, that would have been great if we got a good card via reincarnation. You know what? I think we we will actually reincarnate the Enchanted Javelin anyway. Yeah, so what happened was I reincarnated Enchanted Javelin literally like five times on the last run and I got literally not a single card I could use. You will be surprised how bad the reincarnations are when you reincarnate this card. Sebastian, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. Hello. Watch this. I'll reincarnate the Enchanted Javelin. It's going to give us really bad cards. Trust me. Oh! That's a usable card. I'm actually excited to see that, but yeah, everything else sucks. Uh, I don't... You know what? Fuck it. I'll take a Skull Knight. I didn't give a shit. I'll take this. I'm just excited to see a card that wasn't complete trash. Because I can actually reincarnate that card later on. Um, Violet Crystal. Track it on. Bye. <laughs> this deck is pathetic. Yeah, Skull Knight's not that good, but I can reincarnate that later, and it's actually likely I get a Roaring Ocean Snake, so I'm going to keep it for now. Um, our deck is quite bad. Honestly, it's really bad. Yeah, Metal Dragon is also bad. Skull Knight's cool. It's 2650 attack. Ah, uh, it's alright. If I had a Dark Energy, that would be very good to have both of them. You just realized this is the Cruel Starter deck? Yep. It's 2650 on Forest. It's a spellcaster, not a fiend. It's better than any of our cards. It smashes our other cards. Uh... Alright, this is a strat here, I think. Uh... <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Oh, so he top decked giant flea. 
Also, giant flea just reminds me of Spanish flea, and I always want to say it was a little giant flea. Do, 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 do. But that makes no sense if it's little and giant at the same time. Uh. Fuck. Fuck. Yup, yup. Okay. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it does hurt. I got nothing. I got nothing, bros. Oh, no! Ah, oh, he won that battle. He won the battle of the, the destruction effect. Fucking hell. Alright, alright. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got the strap, we got the strap, we got the strap. Ugh, get in there. Get in there. We got Uno reverse carded. Yeah, oh, take that damage. Take that. Just take it. Alright, this card dies. Deal whatever freaking damage we can. Okay. Um, nine, no, fuck, fuck, fuck. Nine fifty? Okay. <laughs> Get wrecked. <sighs> Epic duel. Epic duel. Get in the bin. I don't give a shit. If he kills my fiend's hand. Ooh, many to many to bug strats? Oh, if we get it. Oh, we got one. Okay. Uh it doesn't actually matter what else we get. Yo, I said Metal Dragon sucks as a drop. As a fusion, it's great. 1850 for three stars is better than shit. It's just a bad drop. It's a lot of debt cost, and it's a six-star monster. It's actually a very significant difference. Karibo, I surrender. Subscribe with Prime Gaming. Thank you very much for the Prime sub, man. Really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well, man. I've actually not seen you in the chat before, so I really do appreciate the Prime sub. Thank you so much. And enjoy your rank badge. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy everything. Enjoy. Uh, Magical Labyrinth strats? Hello? Oh, that's uh, not good. Oh. Okay, then. Thank you very much, Karibo. Do you surrender to Karibo? Is that how this works? Or are you... So do you surrender to Karibo or you're Karibo and you surrender? How does that... How does this work? You're more than welcome. You are more than welcome. <laughs> I love how he flips that up when I have no face down cards. Uh huh. When your opponent plays Karibo, you surrender. Like, just the regular Karibo, or. Like a winged Karibo? I don't know. What, what are the best Karibos now? I haven't really paid attention to the Karibo retrains.
Yeah, Wing Karibo level 10. Is there a way to just bring that out instantly now? Nice. Jibated. 2700 attack Gigatech Wolf. Honestly, I don't even think I've seen the Gigatech Wolf that strong in a speedrun. Also, did you guys know Gigatech Wolf is actually a fire card? I have no idea why they make it. Uh, Earth in this game. Robotic Knight. Dude, this guy loves playing Robotic Knight when we pick the Cruel Starter deck. He's already done it before, so... Honest is still actually playable, it's just like a bit bricky. Smush him. Alright, is this gonna be uh, Invisible Wire? I hope not. Oh, it's not. It's actually not. He can still destroy this if he top decks something. He could. There is potential. Where is he going with that card, honestly? What the fuck? Oh shit. Uh, I think we're dead. This Gigatech Wolf is 3300 attack now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, whoa! Okay. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 I want to do this. I want to do this. This is cooler. This is way cooler. Why did he open the door? Why didn't he defend? I'm, I'm curious. Look at this. 3150. Skull Knight zombie. He's like the ultimate upgraded Skull Servant. He's a zombie Skull Knight. That is cool. Look at him. That is aesthetic. Boom. I didn't even know why he moved that card out of the way, but I'll take it. I'll cash in my money in the bank. Skull Knight didn't have movement bonus. Well, there you go. Epic strats. That's nice. Uh, fuck. In an ideal world, Skull Knight is a zombie. I'm trying to think of other... Oh, guys. What are some other monsters that are not what they're... They should be. What are like Yu-Gi-Oh monsters that have the wrong type? I know what you're gonna say, Dark Witch, right? That should be, that should be a Dark Spellcaster, right? But no. Slate Warrior vs. Keith. Well, I gotta keep that in mind. I gotta keep that in mind. I hate this guy so much. I literally am gonna use Hinatama against him. Because every every life point matters. Yo, Psychic Cab, what's up? Yes, her JP name is Valkyrie, so apparently Valkyrie's a too goddamn edgy. Jinzo? What? Yeah, Jinzo should be a Psychic, but they didn't introduce Psychic until later. Winged dragon is a winged beast. Yeah, one of them's a dragon. One of them's a winged beast. Yeah, mystical sand. Yeah, she definitely is a spellcaster. She should be an earth spellcaster. That would be really cool. You know what I should be a plant type. <laughs> That's not how that Pokemon works. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Oh shit! Oh shit! Will this even do anything? Let's find out. Let's find out. May as well use it now. All right. No. <laughs> it does nothing. I mean, we, that had like a 5% chance of being good. <laughs> her attack is one of the coolest. I do like her attack a lot. La Moon is cooler though, because that's like a giant moon. You know? Um, ooh. Ooh. Karibo. You don't know how wall shadow is a warrior? Yeah, it's literally a brick wall with a monster outside it. I have no idea why it's a warrior either. 
Fairy King Truesdale's name is also kind of weird. Why is that? Oh yeah, because fairy and it's a plant. Yeah, shouldn't it be Plant King Truesdale? Yeah, Wall Shadow, there's no reason for it to not be a zombie, honestly. You saw Sayayu. An assumed machine? No, that's that's just wrong. That's just wrong. Stuffed animal as a warrior. Yeah, really sh it really it actually should be a beast. It really should be a beast. It should be a Brock Lesnar. The beast! That's Dungeon Worm powered up. I I just wasn't looking at the screen when the monster tamer effect went off, so yeah, that's my excuse for that. Yep. Uh, alrighty. Alrighty. Um You know what? I'm gonna do this. Wait. Thanks for the happy birthday, Spartan. Really appreciate it. Rose card man. Is it? I don't. I don't play this game for the rose cards. I play this game for the fun. Yeah, but no. I. Oh, that's good. He opened the door. He opened the goddamn door. Opened the goddamn door. No, it's much better to face these kinds of things. You guys know that song, right? With a sense of poise and rationality. Uh, holy shit. Ooh! I love Skull Knight. I'm gonna marry Skull Knight one day. Skull Knight! That's how I always imagined fucking Ben Howard and Fabler pronouncing his name. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Skull Knight bossing it. This is our carry card. That's why I'm reincarnating him. Oh no, do I have to? Do I have to save him now? If I, I need I need a good high deck cost card uh, to reincarnate instead. Um... Fuck. Fuck. Okay, Skullstalker is literally like the one card there that I actually can, like, use. We're going back to a POD deck with our Skullstalker. Having to sacrifice our Skull Knight will be a very anime moment. Alright, so... I know what you're thinking. Why am I doing this? So, I was gonna, like, surrender twice to Pegasus and try reincarnating again, because I really do need a better card for Pegasus. But, I think I'm actually gonna try to duel this guy and get another couple trap cards from him. Instead. <laughs> spellcaster, spellcaster, spellcaster. Yeah, that's a good question. You guys know how Carrot Idol was made specifically for this game? What, uh, what do you guys think Carrot Idol should be? Because if you think about it, Moisture Creature is a fairy. Which is interesting. Literally, like, none of these duels he's opened with, like, a, a trap card. It's kind of weird, honestly. I'm pretty sure Slate Warrior is a fiend. Carrot Idol would be a rock. I feel like I actually think Carrot Idol would be a fairy. I'm just gonna say it. Oh shit. Terror the Terrible. Well, that's terrible. He's terrible. Terry the Terrible. It's a machine? Yeah, I guess it could be a machine. A machine. Oh fuck. I actually wanted that to be a trap card.
I actually literally dueled this guy instead of surrendering because I wanted trap cards. And he gave me nothing. Like, literally any dehabilitating trap card would be useful in this. Yami, he's not gonna fucking play Yami. He would play an equip before Yami. I would love Yami, but I am not holding my breath for that. I am not. Watch him play a monster top right now. Yes! Oh, yes! I've never been so happy to attack into a trap card in my whole entire goddamn life. This is why we saved the Fiend Castle, by the way. And what might this be, good sir? What might this be? Ho 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 ho! It's a shadow spell! I really want both of these cards, I'm not gonna lie. These will just make playing the game a lot easier if we get both of them. Getting two traps here makes up for the fact that I didn't get one on my last duel. Okay. Nice. We got the good one. We just want a Mesmer Control! Fuck! Alright, it's good. We, it's fine. We got a Shadow Spell that's actually a lot better than just getting the Mesmer Control. Yee, nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Please give us a Roaring Ocean Snake. Oh, we got one straight away. Please give us a second one. If you get two of these, we're fucking... Oh, it's... <laughs> I got excited for a second, but no. It's a Fire Wing Pegasus. Oh, Launcher Spider. That's interesting. Okay, uh, I'll take it. I'll just take this. Before I get, like, painfully greedy. Fire Wing Pegasus. Instead of Max Abillion Pegasus. We added the Shadow Spell. What else do we got? Skull Stalker. Man Eater Bug. Spot Removal. It's Spot Removal, guys. Machine Conversion Factory. Uh, we got some machines, I guess. What else have we got that's like Bricky? I don't really want two Air Eaters. I don't even want this one either. Okay. Our <laughs> deck cost is so low. 673. I don't even know why I'm saving, it's just time loss, but I don't really care that much. I would honestly just be happy to like continue this without a major amount of trouble. That would be cool. And please no sound glitch on Richard this time. Pegasus is our biggest wall on this first half, if, if I'm being honest. We can still kill some of these other guys. I think easier than Pegasus. Oh! Oh, okay. Alrighty then. Okay. Yo, oh, Rico, thanks for the happy birthday. Thank you so much, man. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. We got the double trap Pegasus. That's great. That's that's what we all want. Sippin'. I've actually got a, a sip emote myself. It just hasn't been approved. It's uh, water emotics. Got a five minute PB in Lancastrians. Nice. What's your time now currently? 
I hope to beat this guy and get like good traps. You should really go for a sub 40. You should really go for a sub 40. You can do it. Yeah, I think you can too. I think once you know enough about this game, you really can. This guy's really, really screwing with us. He's gonna have all these like monsters and stuff, which is gonna be great fun. That was an invisible wire. All right, I think we're actually cooking now. Uh, this is the card we wanted, so yeah. The trick usually is to think about who you're really struggling with. Oh god, no, no, no. Oh, he fused! That's fine, he can't beat this when he fuses. <laughs> Alright. Wait, has he got a trap card here? I think I'll try... Uh, oh, I really hope that's not a trap card, it shouldn't be, right? Yeah, why would it be? <laughs> why would it be? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. If he plays Brain Control or Change of Heart, we've actually lost. We've actually lost. Please, anything but that card. Anything but that card, please. Ooh, thank fuck. Oh my god. That was scary as hell. Mystic Lamp and Io... Well, Mystic Lamp could be anything. So if you put a magical fish dude in a magical lamp, surely it creates something really cool. Alright, um, we want his trap cards for this. Oh my fucking god, I don't want that. I don't want- I do not want that. I want invisible wire. Okay, good, thank you. Jesus. I'm so glad I actually got one good card there. That is... Yo, Danny, what's up? Thanks for popping in and saying happy birthday. Sorry not chatting that much recently. That's fine, man. That's all good. Appreciate you being here anyway, regardless. I hope that uh, work is paying you well. Hope that you can enjoy some time off soon. Buy yourself something nice if you're working hard. Do it for you. And yes, I am doing well. Thank you very much for asking. And thanks for the hope. Let's just do this. In case he she decides to attack it. Ew. Ew. She won't move forward now, right? Well fuck. Turtle Genie? As a fusion result, you mean? Anyways, I hope you're doing well as well, Danny. Hope work isn't, like, too painfully hard. Okay. Guess we can do this. And yeah, if you're getting, uh, I hope you're getting paid for all the hard work they're making you do, and they're not just, like, forcing you to work hard. Like, beyond your salary or whatever. Oh! What do you mean, oh? You gotta test something now, what? Are you trying to figure out how to get that monster away from the middle, are you? Oh good, thanks, that's good. Love the new emotes. I'm glad you like him. Oh, a star boy! I'm a motherfucking star boy. Look at him. 
Just look at that guy. He thinks he's Hoshiningen, but he ain't. What else have we got to play? Uh, oh, shit! Look at this! This fucking clutch violet crystal. Damn. Look at that. Lethal. Anyways, I'm glad you liked the new emotes. Because I did spend a fair chunk on them, I'm not gonna lie. It was money well spent, though. I wanted to make sure that anyone who subbed was getting, like, good value out of the sub. So, yeah. Isis Stomp. Alright, what has she got that's actually useful? Pretty much fucking nothing. Oh, fuck. We missed a three in a row by one. You can tell we're prioritizing three in a row off of... Over other cards, because, like, those other cards don't actually do anything in our deck. To the point where, like, it's worth trying to get a three in a row. If we get a... Something like a, a Lab Breaker, obviously, we're bowling. But I'll literally take, like, a Skull Knight or a Summon Skull or something like that would be good. Yo, Mortis, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Thanks for the good luck as well. Really do appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. I'm thinking of getting a snack soon, but I don't know. Maybe after we finish this run, I'll get a snack and we'll do another run. A penguin soldier works every... It's cute, but it's also not useful. I couldn't even say it was useless. It's too nice. Where did my slipper go? There it is. Oh, okay. Hold on. Yeah, I'm doing well. Thank you very much for asking. I'm having a pretty good time here. By the way, how old am I now? Okay, some of you guys know this. If you guys actually know this, don't spoil it. For everyone else, I want you to guess. I would love for you guys to guess. 99. You mean my birth year? 25. <sighs> Close. Close. 28! I don't even know what I'm playing here. Half of my life points to my age. That's a lot, really. I'll give you guys, uh... At the end of his turn. No one's got it right yet. Oh shit. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Owned. He just got wrecked. I am 27! You guys got pretty much everything in the 20s. Except for my actual age. I just turned 27 as of less than an hour ago. 29, surely. I appreciate the insult. No, I'm just kidding. Um, We gotta play something powerful here. Oh, this is good, actually. Wait, no. Oh, fuck. Okay, we can't play these next turn. So, I just want, like, a, a, a low, like, Fiend or Spellcaster with this next card. Thanks, Cardinal fan. And thanks to everyone who guessed younger than 27. Thank you very much for feel it, making me feel young. <laughs> Mesmer Control. Defender Ushi Oni. I re- Oh ho, ho 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 What a play. What a play. Defend that shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, it's fine, actually. This is fine. I'm gonna just play Roaring Ocean Snake next turn.
Roaring Ocean Snake. Ah, yes. This card is so good. Solo carry card. I know I say this all the time, but this literally... Solo carries a deck that's bad like this one. If you actually just get next to the opponent's deck leader and you have Roaring Ocean Snake in your hand, you can play it. You just... You can just win with that. Welcome back, Seto. And thanks, Caesar. Oh, wait a minute. Fuck. <laughs> well, you know what? The Curse Breaker maybe is uh, useful on someone in the future. You know, like the final boss. Alright, guys. Time to witness the death of Richard III. And the betrayal. Pegasus's betrayal. Pegasi betrayal? Multiple Pegasus. It's like a plural Pegasus. Got me a caramel frappe. It's alright, you can have that. It's all good. I appreciate the sentiment. I probably rank coffee over chocolate over caramel. I don't hate caramel, but... Mm, I don't know. It's okay, I guess. Caramel is an interesting flavor. It's basically cooked sugar. If you think, like, about it. It's like, yeah. Not burnt sugar, but like cooked sugar. F. Richard is dead. Yugi is now the king. They should have given Yugi a, a, a crown in this cutscene. You just worked something out for Ishtar. Is that when she defends in front of her? How to get her to move it out of the way? It's if they have a higher defense, I'm pretty sure. Like, it has to be something like Yado Karu. I'm pretty sure. I know, right, Zod? They could have made him a lot better. Oh, Zarigun as well. Well, I'm assuming if it has a defense higher than the attack is part of it. How the hell is Yugi gonna wear a crown? He still can. He still can. His hair is the crown, yeah, that's a good point. Let's see if he does the thing. No. He was never gonna do the thing. Let's just face it. Maybe he'll do it the next time, though. We really don't have any tech against this guy, so it is actually worth going for this Seto. If we surrender again, we can reincarnate, so it's all good, right? We'll reincarnate the, uh... Yeah, so, do you know, could you have even done anything in that Slate Warrior duel? Can you, like, leave it there and then next turn attack her? So yeah, does she stay on the same spot and then move it out the way? <laughs> Whoops. We didn't have any more damage than 1500, so this was, yeah, unlucky for us. He did the thing, but we couldn't do the thing. Ishtar's AI is really strange. I, like, really don't understand it. You disappoint me. To be fair, it is probably disappointing for him. If we just, like, play a card in front of him and then, like, quit on him when he doesn't move forward. We want another Roaring Ocean Snake. One of them is fine. Machine King. Pfft. Two Machine King? What? Seto needs me to win. Actually, is that cannon? Blime. Love that sound effect. So 
so he just like goads us into winning. Why doesn't he surrender then? He's not really the master tactician we thought he was. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh. Um, it's really too late for the TSS to be like really good, but nah. Oh, it would have been. I would have so kept that if this was before Pegasus. But I actually really want a Roaring Ocean Snake. If I got a Roaring Ocean Snake and a TSS, I would put it in. But we really need to build a good deck to make the rest of this, like, doable. Shadow Spell? You know what? If there's one other good card with this, I... Yes! Fuck yes, that's what. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, that's the sound of happiness, my friends. Oh my god, holy shit. What do we even take out for this stuff? What's like not really that good? I do. I just have machines, honestly. Well, we've got an Axe of Despair. That's actually a sick card, I kind of forgot about that. Invisible Wire. Dude, we're set! We got 757 deck cost and everything! Clovis Pog isn't a thing yet. They're actually, uh... Okay, it's hard to explain. Alright, see you later, Zod. Enjoy your lurk. So, Clovis Pog has actually been approved, but we're out of emote slots for Tier 1. I was literally waiting for, for us to be eligible for follower emotes so I can upload Clovis Pog as a follower emote, so you guys can use it in my chat for free. So, with patience, you'll get value out of that. Alrighty, um... I could remove one of my current ones and then swap it in, but, you know. Oh shit! Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. He did the thing. Thanks for the good luck, Ninetales. We can't top deck 2500 attack here, it's just not possible, honestly. Yeah. We could do 1500. This will make him move back, but then we can block the spot in front of him with our Shadow Spell, which is why I kept it. Which will keep this kind of, like, winnable. Da -da -da -da. Oh, fuck. Uh... <laughs> okay. I think we still do this. I think he just stays and then plays to his left. Yeah. Just seeing if he had like a shadow. I, I, he, he wouldn't. But whatever. Well, there you go. Axe of despair overpowered. It's funny because. I was just like totally ignoring Acts of Despair when Richard dropped it and I landed on it anyway and I'm like, wait a minute, this is like one of the only chances we actually have to get an equip for our deck. So that's pretty cool. The next guy is Skull Knight. Fuck. Missed it by one. Snacks of Despair. I have snacks actually, I've got Maltesers. 
and I've got a uh, crispy M&Ms. But actually, when we have a snack break after this run, I am gonna put some cacciatore salami with uh, some bread and cheese and just eat that. The ritual, there you go, Seto's ritual is a duel with the Rose Duelers, but I don't think he needs to lose. Couldn't he do this if he won? I know it's a gameplay thing, but that just is lazy. That's lazy. Vibrating Manaudan Fabloa. Yeah, in story it doesn't matter who wins, but for gameplay we obviously have to win, otherwise what the hell. It'll be interesting if they actually let you continue if you lost against this guy, but no. Because then you'd probably miss him entirely. Yeah, imagine, that would be epic actually, that would be great for a speedrun. <laughs> it would be really handy. Strategic loss. Alright. <laughs> okay. Okay then. Time seal opening is actually very rare. I really... I don't know how I'm supposed to get 1400 attack, but that's... a number that I kind of need for a 3-tap. Alternatively, I could just attack him on this turn somehow. Uh... okay. Um... Skill gone... Uh, fuck. I just kind of need to get rid of something here. No, I can do something. I just gotta figure out the right order of this shit. It's kind of painful. Wait a minute. I just need to get rid of this. What am I even doing here? I'm thinking way too hard about this to the point where I should've just like placed something. Uh, this would be 100 short of lethal if it, even I've attacked him with the... Um... Dragon S is kind of what I wanted to do. I just want to lethal him with the Roaring Ocean Snake. Does Penguin Soldier have a higher defense than attack? Attack threshold? Maybe it's below 1000? I don't actually know, honestly. Fuck, that's bad. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh no, I could have killed him! Fuck, I thought that would be a mirror force. Alright, whatever. Say goodbye to your head. Penguin soldier. Yeah, let me know. And uh, I would like it if you record that as well for archival purposes so we just know. It's one of those things that we haven't figured it out until 2023, March. 
we may as well ingrain it into our skulls, you know. Well, you know, we beat the first half of the game in about an hour and one, so, hey, that's something. A bunch of cards on the floor, and a fucking Voynich manuscript. Finally, we actually got past the first half. Jesus Christ. Our deck is pretty juiced now, honestly. Our deck is pretty nice. Not overpowered for a speed run, but it's good, like, casually. So we can actually just, like, win duels with, like, casual strats. Which is faster than losing multiple times, which is good. When we get into Taya, I'm actually going to have to, like, check the graveyard for what equip she plays. Because if she plays, uh... Enchanted Javelin, we just can't attack or def even let that monster, like, battle with that fairy. With our fiend, you know, so... That's when Roaring Ocean Snake comes in handy. Honestly, as long as I don't get sound glitch, that would be great. Dun 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 dun. Well, on that note, Spartan, we need to come up with a joke about Pumpkin that's actually that witty. Dump King. Yeah, well, how about just pump shit? Ah, oh, that's even grosser. <laughs> Why did I say that? Jesus Christ. Well, we didn't get sound glitch, so that's cool. I just want to finish this run. I do actually want to do another one after eating. I will have time to do one, for sure. Less than a thousand. Yeah, it's... It has to be for attack. Because remember, she defends with, like, Yado Karu. Which is a very high defense. But if it has nothing to do with her defense value... Then, yeah, it's got to be attack value. Yeah, she does. She plays it as if it's, um, Bolt of Skargo. Bolt Escargot. You guys get to hear this music again. It's like we're really playing no password any percent. I didn't actually have to play this card. Yo, Zodian, thank you so much for the happy birthday. Really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well, man. Thanks for popping into the stream and saying hello. Really do appreciate it. We're just doing some cruel starter deck, any percent, no password run for fun, pure fun. This is going to be a solid duel, honestly. Wait, no, she uh, spellbinds water monsters, so this is going to be, like, lame. I probably should have flipped this up, to be totally honest. And just, like, chased her and attacked her with it. Kind of forgot about that. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it wouldn't be. Because she will always play on her first turn, move it, and then, yeah, do, like, stuff like that. Wait a minute. It's alright, we can lethal her next turn. It's not actually that slow. No, no, no! No, no, no! What's uh, Diddy Kong Racing? No, no, wrong way. You guys ever play that? It's a good game. Better than, uh, I would say, honestly, it's the best 90s, like, uh, it's, it's, I would say it's the best kart game of that generation. I think it is better than CTR and better than Mario Kart 64. Diddy Kong Racing is very good. The only thing wrong with that game is WizPig 1 is, like, too hard. Like, it's literally harder than WizPig 2. And the fact that they wall, like... A whole world behind WizPig 1 and it's some of the coolest looking tracks is a bit of a crime. CTR is good. Um, me saying that DKR is the best obviously isn't a dig at the other ones. And the thing is, the fact that Mario Kart 64 is actually in contention for being the best when it has like no content like at all is a big statement on that game. Mario Kart 64 is crafted very well. I think it does have a lot of good things going for it, even just like all the sound effect and everything, but ultimately, it really lacks in content, so... Um, I did- I will say this about CTR though, Rico, so... I gotta be honest, I didn't grow up with it. My experience playing with it was actually- I know this sounds dumb, but... on an emulator on my phone. And I am, like, honestly, I am really bad with games. I just am. Like, I'm really, honestly, terrible with games. Like, actually, as in playing them and finishing them. I'm pretty sure I beat the whole of CTR. Not obviously 100% and collecting all that stuff, but got from the start of the game to the credits in either one or two sittings. And that, I, I think that's saying something, you know. I think that means it was a pretty alright game. Uh, cause it's really rare that I actually get to, I get past, like, the early phase of a game, but for me to just, like, sit there and play it, obviously, there's some merit to that. It means it's obviously quite a fun game. I would say, uh, CTR might have the weakest soundtrack of all these three games. Not because I hated it, but it was honestly kind of just there. I, like, I don't want to, I don't want to trigger anyone who really does like these games, but I think that a lot of the Crash games, honestly, like, the music's just kind of there. Um, maybe a few tracks. Same with Spyro, or just, I don't know, like, maybe I'm spoiled because I grew up with Ratchet and Clank, and like, honestly, at least like 7 out of 10 Ratchet and Clank songs are like really, really, really good. But then when I listen to soundtrack of like a Crash game or Spyro, it's just kind of there. Maybe I do need to listen to a bit more like Spyro stuff, but I'm also quite, yeah. Yeah, but you guys, it, it seems like Crash to, Insa Crash to Insanity, like, was it always a popular opinion that this game was good? Because I thought it was just kind of like lumped in with the not so good games. Maybe that's just me thinking it's because it was in that window of when Crash wasn't really like on top of the world. You know, like the original trilogy. But apparently, especially according to people who play the games a lot, like speedrunners, like really experienced players of the game. You guys really seem to rate it. Holy crap. Uh, this is pretty good actually. Nice. Ooh, handy, 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 handy. Best game ever or the worst? Are there no diplomats in the Crash community? Are there really no diplomats? Um, 
I'm on a diplomatic mission. You guys remember freaking Star Wars? Hmm. Do I even have damage heal? Kind of. Definitely put it over one. One isn't even the best Crash game in the original trilogy, right? Isn't it like the general consensus is that Crash 2 is the best of the original trilogy? How do you feel, my? How do you feel? Between two and three. You would hope that the sequels are good, right? You would hope so. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, lethal. We'll kill this in case it's like a monster reborn or something epic. <laughs> this deck is literally better than my than the actual speedrunning deck. That's so funny. So what did 1 have that 2 and 3 don't have is a question. Like, I get there's always the argument of like, you know, it's the first, but... Sequels, like, pretty much always have to... Wait a minute. So what card did we just move over? Oh, it must have been Harpy's Feather Duster. We missed by one again! God damn it. Much more interesting level design. It's funny, because Ratchet & Clank 1 has that as well. But, um... The thing is... I kind of make the argument that, like, in Ratchet & Clank 1, you have the illusion of exploration rather than actual exploration. Like, they hide really nothing. Like, they have all these nooks and crannies that seem like a good idea to get to. But then... There's just, like, three boxes. And then instead, in Ratchet & Clank 2 or Ratchet & Clank 3, you have no little nooks and crannies. You just have a whole different, like, secret platforming section that gives you, like, a bolt. Better level design. It's a shame how, like... Oh, I should have reincarnated here. No, Ratchet & Clank 1 gives you a lot more just dead-ended bullshit. Literally, there's just stuff like you climb, you go, you look behind a tree and go somewhere, and there's just like three crates. Ew, this sucks. Oh yeah, yeah, I thought, because I honestly haven't played Crash 2 and 3 much, I kind of thought all the original trilogy were like that. Doesn't even Twok even have a couple levels that are like that? Look at this top deck Roaring Ocean Snake, man. This is hectic. Crash 4. Uh, is Crash 4 the recent one they did, or do people refer to Twok as Crash 4? I don't think they do. Okay. Yeah, because I thought, um, what actually is Crash 4 Cold? Something time? I don't know. I really don't know much about it. It's about time. Oh wait, so Crash 4 is actually called Crash 4. It's about time. Well, that makes sense. Oh, wait, so is Twok actually called Crash 4 in Japan? That's funny, because, yeah, Ratchet Deadlocked is called Ratchet & Clank 4. In Japan. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It's funny how, like, for English, they come up with all these, like, spicy names. And then, in Japan, they're just like, nah, it's the fourth one. Twok is technically Crash 6. Wait, really? What are the two Crash games that I'm missing? What's 4 and 5? Because you wouldn't class Crash Bashes as Crash 4 or Crash 5. That's no way. You wouldn't do that. That's just evil. There's no way you would actually say that. How could you say that? Nah, spin-offs are not... They're not in line with the main games. 
I would never ever number the spin-offs like that. That's just rude. Rude boy. Oh, okay. I don't actually know exactly what's supposed to do here, but, uh, okay. Please, not Kingdom Hearts. Never Kingdom Hearts. Game Boy Crash games. We don't talk about those. I don't think we actually talk about those. They're a crime. Entranced? Sell me on Entrance. Why is it so good? Is it like a good like 2D platformer or something? Look at this epic combo here. This is actually good. Either we kill him with two attacks on this, or we kill him with one attack on this and then one attack with our uh, man-eating treasure chest. It's funny how we can actually beat these guys once we actually have, like, a couple good cards in the deck. Oh, he played Ukazi anyway. Well, that's fine. Wait a minute. So, Entranced on GBA is, like, a 2.5D or, like, it has, ver like, that... Uh, forget that I did that symbol and then did that. It's just 2D. Really fun movement tech. Yeah, but is this really like a casual thing or is this just in a speed run? Because it feels unfair to like... I know that movement feels good for speedrunners, but casual players sometimes will never do it. It's funny, um... Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Like, if you're good enough at these games, especially Crash in particular, you're gonna learn how to be fast. It's like... I know this is a really random analogy, but like, in Gran Turismo... The Gran Turismo games, if you actually want to get the gold licenses, you actually, like, really need to learn exactly how you're supposed to take corners like a race car driver. And I know that sounds really dumb, but it's actually true. Not that I'm a race car driver, but, like, you actually follow the rules of, like, driving line and stuff like that. Warrior Dragon Spellcaster. Ooh. Okay, hold on. GT2 Anything Rally was the easiest gold medal ever. Really? I never actually played the first two GTs enough to gold them, but... I have got all gold licenses in Gran Turismo 3 a few times. Honestly, that was one of the hardest things I've ever achieved in gaming. Not even joking. Alright, watch this strat. Ready? Call the Haunted. Insane strats. That kind of needed to be something else, but whatever. It's fine. Yo, sure, what's up? You watch three consecutive streams? Whoa! Isn't that great? Congratulations. Congratulations! I forget what game that is. Super Smash 64, I think. Maha Vilo will fuck you for blocking me. Any Smash game, but don't they have different announcers? Ew, I can't do anything here. Final Flame! Okay. Yo, Contessa! How am I doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. I hope you're doing well as well. 
And Glavion, thank you so much for the happy birthday wishes. Good to see you as well, as always. Glavion is everyone's favorite Pokemon, obviously. Everyone knows about that. Evolution, evolution, right? And thanks for the happy birthday wish. Bad memory. Oh! A dimension hole! Oh! Oh! Well, I guess we're editing the deck here. <laughs> we got a dimension hole. We've only got like four duels left. Fuck it, I'm totally adding it in. What do you get if you have three level three beast warriors around your deck leader that spellbind enemy monsters by three turns? Uh, is this a setup for a punchline? Because I don't know. What can we even take out here? I don't even want Ushioni anymore. Skullstalker, I'll take that out. Um. Fuck it. Your own Fortress of Solitude? Don't you need, uh... There's a joke that, like, what is that card in this game that has Fortress in the name? Why did I even reincarnate? It's a waste of time. Wing Dragon Guard of the Fortress. There's... No, there's the Mechanical Fortress card. I forget what it's called. Seto Kaiba has it. No, I'm thinking of a machine. I'm thinking of that high defense. Yeah, Gear Goal on the Moving Fortress. That's the one. It's funny because later on they do... Wait, is Gear Golem the Moving Fortress? Does that count as a Ge Gear Golem card? Does that card have like text on it now that says you can't do that? That would be really sad. You know how Summon Skull is like, this card's always treated as an Archfiend card. Gear Golem is an archetype? Oh, okay. So instead for all the Gear Golem cards... Oh, okay. Alright, that makes sense. I was thinking, what, do they search by looking up their, like, stats instead? No, nah, I'm not thinking of that card. I didn't mean that card. You guys remember when Joey says that? He's like, no, nah, I don't want the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I mean some other cards. Also, guys, do you guys remember uh, Seto Kaiba's briefcase? Would you trade a Blue Eyes White Dragon for all of those cards? Because there was some pretty decent stuff in there, if I recall. He had a Skull Knight in there? Dude, I'm sold. I literally would trade that for the Skull Knight and then sell everything else. To buy a second Skull Knight. And then a third Skull Knight. Fuck, I should have checked my hand first. No. I got punished. Literally the one turn there that I could have that I should have checked my hand first, whatever. It doesn't matter. At least I've got this thing. At least I've got this thing, right? Yeah, Blois in real life is just like a freaking waste. And this card can never be used against me. They're like only four exist in the world, and it's just like, I'm pretty sure, like. How many blue eyes must exist in the world right now? How many, like, tens of thousands exist? Here's the thing, I don't even care about Blue Eyes White Dragon, I've said this before guys, when I was a kid I was like, I was like a hipster kid, like I didn't like Blue Eyes White Dragon, I just didn't care. What have I got in my hand again? Okay, let's, we're good. I honestly didn't care, I cared about basically everything but what the most popular card was. Everyone's like, oh the Blue Eyes White Dragon, I'm just like, shut up, someone's skull's cooler. Yeah, Red Eyes is cooler. I didn't like Red Eyes that much as a kid either, but... You know what made me appreciate... Red Eyes Black Dragon? 
was actually this game. Not when it came out, but eventually I did like Red Eyes. I like the Dark Dragons in this game. They're pretty cool as an archetype. You like Blue Eyes for a very personal reason? What is that? Well, if you don't mind me asking. Because it's personal, so... Maybe I shouldn't pry. Black Skull Dragon's your all-time fave. It is cool. I'm not gonna lie, it is a cool card. I do like the Dark Dragons. Cards that you don't really see much, get much love, like... Serpent Knight Dragon. That's a freaking cool card. Deep Eyes. What the hell is Deep Eyes? The Deep Eyes White Dragon. Something roughly like White Dragon Emperor. Wait, but that's roughly. That's not really refined, is it? I don't know about that one. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Holy shit. <laughs> I can't believe we got a Dimension Hole on Shardy and we're just like top decking it now. That's so ridiculous. This is like the only card we could have top deck here that's good and we got it. Everything else in our deck's quite bad. Oh, dude, hello. 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 Hola. Sorry, cringe. But I mean, fuck. This is actually a good Bakura duel. This is better than most of my no password. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, by the way. You guys probably think I'm kidding, but this is actually a really legit Bakura. What is this haha -ha thing? Is this a 7TV emote? Boom. Wait, I could have equipped that card with my freaking. It wouldn't have made a difference anyway. Invocation. See, anything related to the word Invoker or Invocation just reminds me of Invoker from Dota 2. That's all it ever will. Anyways, my favorite type of monster in this game was always Fiends. So, I don't know how much that actually affected my psychology, because I never actually had nightmares about, like, evil monsters. Because that was one thing as a kid that I thought was really cool. Um, Summon Skull was my favorite card. One of my earliest favorite cards. I think until, like, Relinquished. That was my favorite card. And then, basically, this game made me forget Relinquished existed. <laughs> so then I had different favorites in this game, like Toon Summon Skull and stuff. No, there's no deck searching in this game, which is actually kind of funny. Wait. Okay, the big brain play. The big brain play. Watch this. Oh, look at this. Actually, this is a bad play, because then I can't really put this on the crush. I can still push him off to the left with it, but... I just want to make sure this wins if this is, uh... What's it called? I didn't need to do that, but whatever. Uh, if it was Beaver Warrior, then it would have beaten Solitude if I didn't do anything particularly interesting with it. Oh, what the fuck is this? Ah, don't do that. What an asshole. What an asshole.
better for Dark Knight than Yugi. I don't really know how true that is. Okay, buddy. I just didn't know where this face down card was. His deck leader weakens fiends, so that's why this is only doing 1800. In case people didn't know that. Boom! We beat Yugi, there you go. Oh, we can get a sub-140 with the worst deck in the game. That's really funny. <laughs> it's funny we're just completely destroying the last half of this game because that deck's actually, like, quite good. Oh! We got a three in a row, and it's a fucking enchanted javelin again! It's like the only card we're gonna fucking get in this game. Holy shit. How many... Th how many... In We've literally got three... Enchanted Javelin three in a row in the last three and a half hours of streaming. We got one Gorgon's Lie and three Enchanted Javelins. Can I just get like any other card than Enchanted Javelin, please? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh, okay. It's MFLC time. This guy can OTK us, but... You know what? If I get a sub 140, I will actually be quite proud of this run. I'll be happy with this run. <clears throat> I still do kind of want to do another one, but... I don't know. Are you guys having fun with this? I am having fun with this. This is cool. I like doing non... I like not having to, like, reset on the third duel. Because you didn't beat a duel within two minutes. <laughs> You're tired as fuck. You should really go to bed. Is it at, like, quarter to five in the morning for you? Yo, DD James. Oh, is that James from frickin' Team Rocket? Dance Dance James. Instead of Dance Dance Revolution, it's Dance Dance James. Jesse. James. Isn't James a bit like Pegasus? Ah, uh, ho 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 ho! Okay. It's just your nickname? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, fuck. This is really risky, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because YOLO. Same voice actor? Well, that actually makes a lot of sense. Alright, so he could literally OTK us here, but this is actually not... It is, like, this is a legit play in a speedrun. It's very high risk reward. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, oh, this is probably a 135, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we win next turn, I'm pretty sure we win next turn. No, we don't, oh fuck. But, we can win the turn after this, potentially. Joe has better voice chemistry? What does that mean? Who's Joe? Also, hi Long. Summon Skull! Okay then. Alright then, buddy. <clears throat> does he have summoning power now? He does. Okay then. Okay, well he shouldn't have summoning power now. So that's cool. We do, though. Ha ha ha. We can play this. We can play this. Look at this. Two Roaring Ocean Snakes. Two of them. Count them. Two is always better than one, right? And he should have no summoning power now. He moves this forward. He's just gone. It's a 136. I just beat this game with the worst starter deck in the game. No passwords in one hour and 36 minutes. That's a wrap, people. Oh, we got a celebratory promotion. Ah, oh, cruel. I'm so proud of you. Ah, oh, cruel. You've done a great job. I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you, man. That's 
just too perfect, really. Ah, that's poetic. Oh, we got a slot reel. Oh, we just talked about how cool... We just talked about how cool Red Eyes Black Dragon, so I need to get this, right? I need to get one of these. Alright, good. Now I'm going to a three in a row. Can we actually get one? Fuck. You know what? I'm glad we didn't, because if we did, we would have got another fucking Enchanted Javelin anyway. <laughs> I really actually wanted to get that three in a row to see if we were going to get one again. That would have been really funny if we did. 136, 22. That's actually really not that bad, honestly. This could be a lot worse. Pure copium. Well, uh... Pfft. The rod was good. Now do Luminous Soldier. Luminous Soldier would arguably be like... I don't know, would it even be better than this? I don't know. We really did rely on the Roaring Ocean Snake to carry this. That's just my strat for basically... Any of these, like, no password runs. GG, guys. G freaking G. You hated it? Now do Dota Redox Buku deck. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It has Kaiser Dragon. It has Dragon Treasure. It also has a Thunder. Actually, does it have Bright Castle? I think it has Bright Castle instead, so I think you can actually fuse Twin Headed Thunder Dragon and put Bright Castle on it. So you have 3300 attack. Maiden of the Ark was actually one of the better decks, that isn't Patrician of Darkness. This is literally like one of the worst. Now do sub 1 console attempts, please no. Why would I do that? That's like the last thing I want to do in this game, if I'm being honest. That shit's gonna be, like, impossible. Really? No, not Cruel Deck. That's not gonna happen. Is that even technically possible? I don't know. The funny thing is, I think this is actually faster than some people's no password times with, like, better starter decks. And this is, like, my first run that I actually took. Let's see. Any percent, no passwords, emulator. Yep. Uh, uh, Alright, that run I just did was literally the fastest non-Patrician of Darkness starter deck that's on the leaderboard currently. That's funny. Alright then. That's funny. That run wasn't really that bad. Like, the last half was actually relatively good pace. Interesting. Interesting. Did you just get clickbaited? Did you? Um, you missed the run. It is my birthday today. It's almost two hours into my birthday. This faster than any percent PB. I'm gonna sit here and be smug about it. This was the first run that I took. Third attempt. The first one died to sound glitch. The second one was just shambles. This was the first run I took to the end, and I got a 136 with the worst starter deck in the game. Cut the tape. <laughs> 